Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hema Subramanian. Today's recipe is a chicken lover's delight. This is one of my personal favorites. This is chicken ghee roast. Now this uh, dish is made predominantly with ghee and with a lot of spices. So it's very rich and very, very tasty. So let's get started and check out the recipe. So the first step is to marinate the chicken. I have about one kilo of fresh chicken here with bone. To this, I'm going to add the juice of one lemon, one tablespoon of fresh curd, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon chili powder, quarter teaspoon turmeric powder, and one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. So it's best to mix it with your uh, hands. So just rub the masala into the chicken pieces. Let this sit for about one hour. So now that the chicken is marinating, the next step is to roast the ingredients for the masala. Now the key ingredient for this masala are the Byadge chilies. Now I've taken about 10 of these. Uh, these are very nice and they give a very nice rich color to the uh, dish, but they're not too spicy. So in case you can't find these chilies, you can use the Kashmiri red chilies and the regular chilies in the combination. Next add two tablespoons of coriander seeds, one teaspoon cumin seeds, one teaspoon fennel seeds, 1 teaspoon whole peppercorns, few fenugreek seeds, dry roast the ingredients till you get a nice a lovely aroma. Getting a nice aroma of the uh, ingredients here for the masala. So I think they're pretty much done. I'm going to turn off the stove. Cool the ingredients completely. Transfer the roasted and cooled ingredients into the mixer jar. Next add 8 cloves of garlic and a little tamarind. So I've soaked the tamarind in a little bit of water. So just add a ball of tamarind pulp. Add a little water. And grind it to a nice fine paste. So you can see the uh, masala paste is done. So add the required amount of water to get this nice fine paste. Take a nice wide pan or a kadai. So first we're going to cook the chicken. For this, I'm taking about four tablespoons of ghee. So as you know, the name indicates it's chicken ghee roast. So we're going to be very, very generous with ghee here. And you're going to cook this only in ghee. Add the marinated chicken pieces. Cook the chicken on high flame for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, remove the chicken pieces from the pan and keep them aside. After removing the chicken, cook the stock for just about a minute or so. Now add the ground masala paste. So you can see how beautiful it looks. It's got this lovely red color to it. Pour a little water to the mixer jar and add the remaining masala that's sticking to the jar. You don't want to waste any of that. So after adding all the masala, continue to cook. So you need to cook the masala for about five to ten minutes so after five minutes I'm going to add another two tablespoons of ghee so if you see the masala has absorbed all the ghee that was added initially and continue to cook for another five minutes you can see the masala has become thick and the ghee has started separating it's become nice and dark now I'm going to add a little jaggery it's about two teaspoons you can adjust according to your taste this is added to balance the flavors now add the half cooked chicken pieces and mix it along with the masala this ghee roast is just simply out of this world 
It is so tasty and so delicious. The masalas are so simple, yet it gives a very, very nice, rich taste and flavor to the dish. So now I'm going to add the salt, one teaspoon. Cook it for another 15 to 20 minutes on medium flame till the masala thickens. The chicken ghee roast is almost done and I'm just going to add the final touch by adding a few curry leaves. These are some nice fresh curry leaves. So there you go. So you guys must try this recipe for all the chicken lovers. I'm telling you this is a fantastic dish. Wow, that chicken ghee roast looks incredibly delicious. Now, the flavors are fantastic and it makes for a perfect side dish. You can enjoy this with any main course like rice, roti, chapati or parota. Do try this recipe, enjoy, share it with your family and friends.